So many people don't know that there's one thing you can do to significantly improve your appearance without even trying. Have you ever wondered why some colours look great on you while some seem to wash you out? Enter colour analysis. According to Wikipedia, the roots of colour analysis go back to Hollywood, where artist Robert Daw observed how an actress would look wonderful one day, yet tired and older another. He recognised this was the effect of the colour she was wearing on her skin, and the beginnings of colour analysis were born. This developed quickly into a four season analysis framework. The categories are spring, summer, autumn and winter, with subcategories such as bright, true and clear winter, but let's not get carried away. While summer and winter lean more cool toned and autumn and spring more warm, one category is supposed to suit each individual the best. We'll go into how you can figure out your colour palette later in the video, but for now, if you're not familiar with colour analysis, let's have a look at a couple of examples that stand out to me. I find it a lot easier to look at celebrities examples. So take Taylor Swift for instance. From what I can find online, she's a spring. Here are the general characteristics of a spring. As you can see, lots of warm pastel shades. And I love Taylor, but I remember watching the Reputation tour with my girlfriend and saying to her, this is so difficult for me to watch because I feel like black really washes her out and doesn't make her shine like other colours do. Swifties, do not come for me in the comments. I give her all my money. <laughs> and other than the colour scheme of the Rep tour, she can do no wrong to me. But comparing these photos, you can clearly see that darker colours such as navy blue and black wash Taylor out, they make her look a lot more pale, while warmer colours such as golden hues and light warm pastels really bring the shine to Taylor's face. Another good example is Zoe Deschanel. Do you remember watching Elf, seeing the blonde girl Jovi and thinking, I think I know her, but I'm not sure where from. While Zoe Deschanel has perfected her look now, she looks incredible in bright colours and cooler tones tones and dark hair really suits her. Let's rewind to the elf days and as you can see Zoe is beautiful but she just isn't shining as much as she does with her current look. While I don't think you should live by your colour season and let it hold you back from wearing what you really love to wear, I do think it could be a good guideline for me. With being on camera all the time I want to feel and look my best. So that brings me to the point of today's video. I've been invited to head to London in a couple of days to have my colour analysis done by image consultant Anna Spreckley. But before I go, I thought it might be fun to take a little guess at what colour season I think I am. This has actually been difficult for me because I think my season changes depending if I'm wearing fake tan or not. But Anna has specifically asked me to not wear fake tan or makeup so she can do the analysis on my actual skin tone. I used to think my colour was black and I used to wear a lot of black. I'm talking for years on end, but after staring at countless comparison photos, I actually think black washes me out and I look a lot better in colour. I also am wondering if black is too harsh on my skin tone nowadays. My guess is that I'm either a winter or a summer. To be more specific, a bright winter or a soft or true summer. But let's go find out. Do you want your colours analysed? I think you're a perfect little spring. Yes. Do you like my nail colours today and my t-shirt? My top? Yeah. It's giving summer. I'm confused because you keep talking about what colour palette you're going to be, but aren't you getting a professional to do your do it for you? But I want to guess first. And I think I want you to tell me that I'm a summer because I don't want to be a winter and I'm worried I'm a winter. When you got me a ring, yeah, that's not an engagement ring. It's just a, it's just a n nice to meet you ring. I tried that black one on and I was like, oh, the black one's gonna look so good. And then I tried it on, it didn't look good at all. And then, and we... then I said that blue would look better. Yeah, so you diagnosed me as a summer. I didn't. You see how these are different? This is the one I want to be. This is the one I don't want to be. Wait, why? All the colours in the winter palette are very bright. It's just like bright, bright, bright. You saw the lady I just showed you, she is wearing bright clothes because they really suit her. Why don't you want to do that? Because I don't want to wear, I want to wear soft, like nice, like cute little Birkenstocks with nice little soft outfits like an art student. Are you ready? That looks great. So compare this blue to the one that I want to be. Oh, the other one looked way better. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do if she tells you you're a winter? Cry. I even said in my intro, this is not gonna dictate my life and what I like to wear. I think it is. I think you're <laughs> acting like it is. Why did you lie? This. Uh-huh. Or. 
Don't you think the bright one is better? Oh, do you know the other drama? I think both of the colour palettes that I'm deciding between that I think I am, summer or winter, suit silver jewellery better. Oh no. I know. Don't you have a bright pink sweater? Yeah, it looks fantastic on me as well. <laughs> My girlfriend thinks I'm a winter. Well, I don't have strong opinions about any of it. Oh, your opinions are strong and loud. <laughs> I'm Anna Spreckley. I'm an image consultant, which means that I focus on colour analysis and style analysis. In other words, help you discover the best colours for you that make you look healthy, in focus, confident. And then style analysis is where I help you dress for your personality and your body type. A lot of people will dress because of things in fashion, but yeah. personal style is about dressing to make yourself look the most authentic where when you walk into a room, your clothes do the talking and you can communicate who you are before you say a word. So today we're going to do colour analysis. Yeah. I'm a winter, so I'm blue based, need the clear colours, and we're going to work out what are you you, whether you're yellow base or blue yeah. and then if you need clear and bright or soft and muted. So at first I'm going to test like a yellow base against a blue base yeah. and I'm purely looking at your face I'm not looking at the colour mm -hmm. I'm just going to see whether your face changes. If you're yellow base your yeah. face is going to go really lovely and warm you're going to look really healthy mm -hmm. it's going to look amazing. If you're blue base and you wear these colours you'll go a bit sallow you might look a bit ill. Yeah. So once I've determined whether you need yellow or blue I'm then going to determine whether you need clear and bright or soft and muted. I'm so sorry about this. It's giving Amish. It's <laughs> giving Amish, it's giving Hamlet's tail, it's giving called the midwife. I actually quite like it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what to look for. <laughs> Take it off. This is one of my least favourite colours like in the world because of how it makes me look. Yeah, so if it's wrong, it'll make you look quite sallow. Whereas this one clears you up a little bit, so you go more clear and bright there. And then when I remove it, you're going to go quite yellow which you do, you look a little bit poorly. Yeah. So if we get consistency with that, then that's going to really tell us what your skin cells are. I like this little heart. <laughs> You're the only person I've ever had this. <laughs> the bottom one will either make you look healthy or it'll make you look quite ill. So let's have a little look when I remove it. So you go a little bit poorly, <laughs> poorly there. That ain't good. <laughs> it's so strange how yeah. unwell I look. <laughs> so this is what's quite interesting actually about coming without, because I ask you to do it without makeup on. Makeup can make us really compensate. So some people wear the wrong colour and they're overcompensating with makeup. Whereas actually you're just seeing naturally what's going to suit you. Yeah. So even if you wear no makeup, you know the best colours for you. This one clears you up and you look mm. more healthy and that one goes a little bit on the yellow Ooh, side. Yeah. I've seen you in this colour and yeah. I really like it on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah you look a lot more clear, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> and then when I remove it, yeah, you go a little bit. Yeah, poorly. So let's me. remove these. You'll watch your face change, okay? So I'm going to walk you through it and I'm going to do it quite fast so you can see it. So here, you're really clear. There you go, a little bit sallow. You go quite clear there and you go quite sallow there. Again, healthy here. This one looks quite poorly. That one looks really lovely and clear and bright on your face. That one doesn't look the best. And then here, this is really clear, and then that one is quiet. Wow. <laughs> this is the worst one. This is the worst one. <laughs> but it, that's funny, because that is the colour that I avoid at all costs. Because so I'm blue-based. You are blue-based, which basically means you're going to be a summer or a winter, which is what we thought. Every season can have people with blue eyes or people with grit. Mm. Like, it's not really about that because eyes are like chameleons as well. They really change. Well, I mentioned in a video, actually, I said I thought I could be a winter or a summer. And yeah. someone commented saying, you can't be a summer because your eyes aren't light enough. You haven't got blue eyes. It's interesting to learn that. Yeah, that's not a thing. I've had summers with green eyes, with blue eyes, with brown eyes. It is not based on that because that really categorizes someone as well. And it's literally based off of your skin cells. So now we know you're blue-based, we're going to do the two blue-based seasons. So if I fake tan, will yeah. it change my colour season? No, no. because the, the undertone of my skin is always the same. Okay. Yeah. So growing old, getting a tan, if you change your hair, your season doesn't change. This is why right. colour analysis is good because it works for you mm. rather than you trying to work for it. When you get a tan, the only thing that will change won't be your season, but where you sit in your season. So right. it might be that when you go more dark, you might want to do more high contrasting colours. So the, the softer side of your palette that's a bit lighter because mm. then it'll show the tan off well. That's the only thing, but ah. this is your season for life. A lot of these colours won't actually look bad because they're all blue base. Yeah. Um, so now it's like what I call fine tuning. It's like you're literally just doing with this with a camera lens. We're going to see if you suit those like 
slightly muted, softer colours, or if you need clear and bright. Like I said, there are four sub seasons. I want to test two sub seasons against each other as well and see are you going to be on the darker side, you know? Because right. right now, this doesn't look too bad, but I still have an inclination that you're still going to be a summer. The word for summer is like a melody. So here yeah. you look like a melody. Everything here is drawing the attention up to your face. The next colour is going to look good and your eyes will look good, but I have a feeling the colour is going to make us draw the attention down here, which we want us to be the focus. Mm. We deserve it. So let's have a look when I remove it. I go towards the yeah. colour, not you. It needs to be a melody for you and we don't want to lose you. I would look at you and be like, if I didn't know what I was looking for, that I love that colour. Yeah. But people shouldn't look at the colour, they should look at you. True. Again, this is nice, but it's quite overpowering for you. Yeah. Like, again, I'm looking here, I'm not bringing the attention up. So the colour that I'm putting on you won't be the best in terms of the contrast, but this brings your attention back up to, to your the face. face. Yeah, you look really in focus, whereas that is amazing, but again, it's heavy. It's, yeah. the, it's really heavy on you. I think if I had makeup on, yeah, but then you're overcompensating yes. again. This isn't that bad, but it does take the attention away from your it face. It does, yeah. You yeah. just look at the colour. So now it comes back up to your face, you look healthy. The saturation of the colour is really nice, yeah. but the attention is here and you've got a lovely like jawline. With that, sometimes people can look quite heavy with the wrong colour in there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, but it does just goes make you colour. go. Yeah. That's so interesting. If you're not a winter, which I don't think you are, we're gonna look at your alternative to black, which some people can have an issue with. Amazing. We're told black suits everyone, aren't we? We're told it covers a multitude of sins. We're told it goes with everything it doesn't. No. It can really add a lot of excess to people. Yeah. Um, it can look quite ashy on a lot of people. It's really not the best colour, it's just quite easy. And it doesn't actually hide people. And my whole thing, I know I'm like on a rant right now. My whole thing is like, we cannot hide. Like yeah. even if we wanted to, we can't hide. So if we were having a crap day, you can't actually walk into a room and be invisible, so you might as well just be you seen. You might as well, yeah. <laughs> For all the right reasons, <laughs> rather than feeling yeah. rubbish. So these two look quite similar if we did that, but here is just that bit softer on you, and again, the attention goes wow. further down. That really is a big change. I don't know if yeah. you'll be able to see it on camera like as much as I can see it right now in person, but that is such a big change. Yeah, so here you look in focus, the attention's on your face. Here is too heavy for you. Here, in focus, it's just too much. That is in focus. The next colour is nice, this is good, but again, it's too heavy for you. And here looks like a lovely melody of colour. And as great as that is with the contrast, all the attention is here and yeah. it needs to be on your face. So you can wow. hear some. Oh, I'm so You've got no idea how excited I am about that. <laughs> well, it's the most rare season as well, so you're a lucky gal. Oh, look at me go. You said the difference will be quite subtle because they're both blue-based, but when I look in the mirror, I think yeah. it's quite clear. I didn't think it was going to be that clear. <laughs> I, d I didn't think it was going to be that clear on you, to be honest. I was really preparing myself to have to do quite a bit of work but no it was quite obvious yeah. I do think your sub season is going to be what is called a dark summer mm -hmm. and you are going to be able to do the darkest high contrasting side of your palette in fact summer is basically blue and pink <laughs> so Love if you that. like those colors then you're going to be great are you a Taylor Swift fan do you know what? I thought the other day, why have I not listened to her new album? What is wrong with me? I wore pink to the last era's tour that I went oh, to and perfect. I'm wearing blue to the next one. <laughs> Amazing. Slaying but I'm wearing it. my season already. <laughs> so the next step was for Anna to put a little bit of makeup on me because each season has three lip colours that complement shades of the corresponding palette super well. And she likes to show every client how to wear those lip shades. What would you say is the most common season? In England, the most common season is autumn. Really? In Scotland, it's winter and oh. then autumn. How good does this look? So this is still summer. Yeah. It's still really bold. It's slightly softer than what would be in winter. Can you see the difference between my red and your red? Yeah. So this is the lip that you would do with this colour. We then tested my darker lip shade, which was a super pretty plum burgundy. This was a definite favourite of the three that we tested. This is why winter would have been too harsh because even the depth of this is really, it's enough. Yeah. It looks really, really good. After testing the lip shades, we kept the makeup on and Anna went through every shade in my summer palette and chose hero colors for me. This was the part I was the most excited about. So we'll keep that lip on and we're gonna go through every color now. And the ones that I put aside are the ones that are epic and yep. you can do top to toe if you want to do that block, color yeah, block outfit. I do want to do that, I've never done that <laughs> Great. before. And then others will be like, they're good, maybe you just want to wear it as a top or a jacket yeah. or something like that. This is one of your alternatives to black. That actually looks I really like good. <laughs> really good on you. <laughs> this is called Coco. So all your colors will have a pink or a blue mm. tinge to it. So if I show you 
autumn's version of brown. Can you see that it's way more ooh, yellow? Yours ooh, has this pinky yeah. tinge. Wow. And I'm gonna compare it against black just so you can visually see the difference because we are told black suits everyone. There again, it's very ashy. It goes quite ashy on your that cheeks. That does not look good. No, <laughs> no you look, you're like, I can't even look at myself right now. Take the mirror away. <laughs> um, whereas that, you heat up, you look really yeah. healthy. It's gorgeous on you, I love that. Wow. But this one's really pretty too. That one looks better because the contrast better, was a bit yeah. better. Um, this is called, this is rose brown, so it's slightly softer, a bit more smoky. When I did a little stalk on your Instagram, you have a cardigan with love hearts. With yeah. this one white. Yeah, yeah. So this, I saw it, I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, this is in a season. What I would say for this Don't wear is, it near my face. Yeah, exactly. On the side, just yeah. as a jacket or something like that, which will look better. This is your version of white. It's slightly softer than optic white and it looks more elegant on you than optic white. So we're going to keep that one on you. Like, will look good. That's pretty oh, with that's that pink. Fun. Do you know what would look really cool? If you did that to back it up, I'd be adding in then like a raspberry. Yeah. So like that would look really nice. Oh wow. Yeah. A lot of people can be misdiagnosed as a winter if they see a lot of depth in someone, but actually it's just doing a bit of extra work and thinking, yeah. is it actually overpowering the person? Um, and I think the colours that I'm wearing would actually overpower this will look good when you have a tan because yeah. it'll contrast even more so that would be one of those colors that your colors don't change but where you sit in your no, palette might change tell yeah. that, that would look nice with yeah. a tan this one is really nice this is rose madder it's slightly smoky oh, it's oh, like it? yeah so this is the difference between summer and winter because mm -hmm. i'd see that and i'd love it but actually it's quite like a smoky muted version of pink yeah. but it's it looks amazing Fun. love it I love, love it <laughs> okay this one's called coral red when i say coral red don't think about yellow or orange yeah. but it's got that tinge to it and that looks really nice obviously not with that lip can you see why the three lipsticks yes. are important because they could yeah. clash this is musk pink this is sweet pea again not with that lip but with the bow like that looks really nice color, yeah, though, yeah. Oh. <laughs> chef's kiss that is so good i love that yeah one. i love that this is another version of black for you it's an okay. alternative to black and it's called smoked aubergine grape yeah exactly of. yeah it's like a very deep version of aubergine again just to show you the difference. Oh, I like that a lot. Really nice. It's more elegant for you than it black is, is going to be quite ashy. When I put it back on you, you're going to go quite ashy on your cheeks there. The which... black with the lipstick just looks awful <laughs> on me. And all the attention is here. Like, there's no, no one is looking at your face right now, which we don't want. We want you to be the focus. That is so strange to actually see that. <laughs> Ooh. Every season, I recommend that they wear three colours at a time. Any more will look like a kids TV presenter. Yeah. So the example being, I've pulled out three of the colors in yeah. what I'm wearing. So for you, you're the exception to the rule. Summers can wear, it's like a bouquet of flowers. Like yeah. you can wear all of them at once and you look amazing. This is lavender. And you know oh, this, cute. let me show you this with like that looks wow. awesome. It's, it's actually- I love watching this clip back. It's so cool to see myself in colors that actually really compliment me. So we carried on going through each color in my season and how beautiful is this gray blue shade? Anna compared it to a regular charcoal from a different palette, which really washes me out compared to the slate blue that brings warmth to my face. Why do all these colors look good? I need to like limit these because you've got a whole pile over there. That looks sharp. So that holiday as well, it yeah. looks good. This one's good. The other oh. one looks better. So I actually think though this in like a satiny elegant gown. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Duck egg, gorgeous. Love it. Love that on Love you. Love this yeah. color. Really nice too. Love it. Wow. Love it. You go really like With tanned. The... Anna also gave me my version of a navy blue. Now, navy blue is a color that has never suited me. So much so that my mum has actually noticed how badly it doesn't suit me before. But in my palette, we had this shade instead of a true navy. And you can see the comparison here. Such a big difference. We've got all the greens and the blues on this side here. We've got um, these amazing green sea green here going through to your jades and then a little bit of gray going on here. And then with your blues going through to your darker side and then your brown. And then here we've got the smoked grape going through to your burgundy, some purple colours here, through to your pinks, and then some sharper hyacinth colours. That looks amazing. You look so good. Thank you. Ooh, I'm gonna take so what did I learn from this experience? Well, turns out I'm binning all the black clothes that I own. No, I'm just kidding. But I will be doing a 
big wardrobe clear out and probably selling a lot of them on Vinted to make a little bit of extra cash to buy myself some more items that are in my summer color palette because my wardrobe is very dark right now and I hardly have anything that fits my color season. But let's talk about the actual experience. Anna was incredible. She explained everything so well and she answered every question that I had, even if they were silly. So a huge shout out to Anna for gifting me this experience because I had the best time. And if you guys are looking to get a color analysis consultation, I'm gonna leave Anna's details below. And she also offers style analysis where she helps you dress for your shape and find your personal style, which is something I would love to do now that I know my season. Colors make a huge huge difference in your appearance, more so than I actually expected. I had an inkling that black washed me out, but seeing it compared to the dark summer shades, like the aubergine and the cocoa was such a trip. One thing that I didn't include in my consultation is that after we'd done with the colors, Anna sat me down and we talked through makeup, hair colors, and jewelry tones that were right for my color season. Turns out I do need to make the switch to silver jewelry if I want to be completely in my palette. That's what suits me more. My hair color is pretty pretty perfect as it is right now. It's quite a cool toned brown. There's not much warmth in it, but basically as a summer palette, I shouldn't be going any shades of warm blonde. I can do silver, which I actually have done before, or any cool shades, but anything warm won't really suit me as much as it would suit an autumn or a spring. As I just mentioned, one thing that I really wanna do moving forward is go through every single item in my wardrobe and sell the things on Vinted that don't make me feel the best, aren't really in my color season, and and don't bring much light to my face, which is the majority of my wardrobe. I was just looking through my clothes trying to find something to wear today. And I actually have this perfect blazer, which I will put a picture of on the screen right now, but I gave it to my girlfriend and she's in America. So I was planning to wear that because that is perfectly in my color palette, but it's all the way in Nashville. So let me know if you guys would like me to film the process of me rebuilding my wardrobe in my color season. I think I will probably do quite a bit of thrifting, which would be fun to document as well. And I actually would really like to make a part two to this video where I dress as my color season and make it the majority of my wardrobe. This was such a fun experience though. I cannot recommend it enough. I've been telling all my friends and family, you should really go to Anna and get your colors done because it's made such a difference in how I see myself. And I left that consultation feeling incredible and like I know what to look for in the shops. And I think it's gonna make me feel a lot more comfortable going makeup free as well because a lot of these colors really brought light to my face without having to put makeup on and I'm lazy. I don't like wearing makeup a lot of the time, so that's perfect for me. Anyways, that's all from me today. Let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you very soon. Bye. All the attention is coming back. You've got a great job. Can we just talk about your jawline? Thank you.